Hi, I'm Dempsey Pilot, and this week I'm reviewing Mission Impossible Fallout was directed by Christopher McQuarrie and stars Tom Cruise alongside some other A-list actors such as Henry Cavill, Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, and Rebecca Ferguson, just to name a few. Now, this, the sixth entry in the franchise, follows Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt once again, except this time he's trying to track down and obtain some stolen plutonium from some underground terrorists. Now, along the way, he meets some old friends, as well as some old foes, but in this film, the stakes have never been higher. Let me just preface this review by saying, whoa, this film is probably one of the best action films that I've seen in a very long time. And when you step back and realize that Tom Cruise did all of these stunts on his own, it makes the experience of watching the film so much more intense. Like, I didn't know whether or not to be scared for him doing some of the stuff that he did, or to be in awe. Some of you might know this already, but Tom Cruise was actually injured in the making of this film. Production was put on hold for several weeks because of an injury that he sustained while performing a stunt. However, I really couldn't tell which scenes were shot before or after the injury. And to be honest, he never limps or shows any indication that he's in pain or hurt. He gives this film his all. And honestly, I think that commitment that he has to this film, to this character, is one of the things that makes the film so great. But there are other things too. In my opinion, a lot of the credit has to go to Christopher McQuarrie too. His direction is amazing in this film. There are so many incredible and memorable scenes, but at the end of the day, his writing is what shines. He's taken the world of Mission Impossible to the next level. As I said before, the stakes in this film have never been higher. And honestly, there are so many twists and turns, literally and figuratively, that I don't even know what they can do or what they will do if they choose to make another film. And we all know they're gonna make another film. Also, as I said before, we see a lot of old friends in this movie, such as Ving Rhames' Luther and Simon Pegg's Benji. But there's a new character here, one played by Henry Cavill, that got a lot of people excited, particularly because of something that he shows us in the trailer. His mustache. Uh. Seriously though, Cavill's character is probably the most interesting character in this film, because for a majority of the film, we don't really know what side he's on. Despite that, he's definitely one of the most exciting characters we've seen in the franchise or I've seen in the franchise in a very long time. In addition, his portrayal of the character proves that he's got a lot more range than we've been shown in the past. Look, this film had so much in it. Insane action, comedy, but by far my favorite thing about it was the fact that it featured callbacks to previous films. Not only do we see the return of Mission Impossible girls from before, such as Michelle Monaghan and Rebecca Ferguson, which is also a major first for the franchise, but there are actual visual and comedic references to things that have happened in missions before, which was awesome. My only real problem with the film was the plot, which at times gets a little bit confusing, but I'm pretty sure that Macquarie was aware of that, because several times throughout the film you have characters explaining what's going on and what needs to be done. But it's not done in an in-your-face kind of way. It's not over-the-top exposition. And that's what kind of makes it okay. And that's why it didn't bother me too much. You know, eventually I understood what was happening. Despite that, this film is a solid blockbuster. This is the reason why people go to the movies. You know, it pushes the boundaries of modern filmmaking while still managing to create something fresh that audiences actually want to see something that I wanted to see and something that I highly recommend and for that I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. Great Scott! I know this is heavy. Guys thanks so much for watching as always if you like this video hit that like button and if you're not subscribed I would ask that you please subscribe. I post new videos weekly and in fact I have a second movie review coming for you later on this week so be on the lookout for it. It'll be out either tomorrow or the day after but definitely in the next few days. I'm also still working on that Florida vlog, like I promised, um, and that TV show season review. I did not forget about that. It's almost done, still working on it, but no release date just yet. 
If you want to follow me on any of my social media, I'll put the links down in the description. I'll put my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Stardust. Stardust, as I've mentioned many times before, is an app where you can actually sign up and do movie and TV show reviews yourself. It takes less than 30 seconds to sign up and another 30 seconds to post your first review. It's as easy as that, and it's really a cool community. I highly recommend it. But yeah. Thanks again so much, guys, for all the love and support thus far. It really means the world to me that you take the time out of your day to view these videos. I love making them, and I cannot wait to keep on doing it. So until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilot. Take care. <laughs>